Hello, in this video I will teach you how to attack in the style of World Chess Champion. With help of the game of Alexander Alekhain, we will define the key principles of the attack and you will definitely like this video. My name is Pavel Martinov, I welcome you to my YouTube channel and let's start. In this game Alekhain who played white and his opponent started with the classical line of the French defense. And basically here, the main move is to take the bishop on e7. Alekhain loved to play this idea of h4 immediately. According to the modern theory, it's better not to take on g5, but uh, white are ready to sacrifice the pawn. So takes, that was in the game, takes queen g5, knight h3, queen e7, knight f4. White's idea is basically that they sacrifice the pawn to unlock the rook on the h line, and basically to make a misorder in the developing of black because the king starts to struggle it will be not safe to go for the short castle because the white's attack will be really strong there and to prepare a long castle takes too much time the alekhine opponent decided to play knight f8 maybe the plan was to go knight c6 bishop d7 and castle long but that takes too much time alekhine sacrificed the pawn he took the responsibility. That's why he is starting to play very active. Queen g4. We are hanging the pawn on g7. We want to make a castle. And we have a high that treat knight d5. Because after, for example, g6, knight takes d5 is available. e takes d5. Queen takes c8. And we will take on b7 next move and win this position. The point is that when we always have these hanging pieces on the same diagonal, when we just need to drop the pawn from e6 and one piece will be able to take another one, that's also going dangerous for one of the sides. That is the tool that I mentioned in the video about the calculations and blunders. So check it out. Uh, in the game, black decided to play f5 to protect the pawn via the queen on e7, I mean the g7 pawn, takes, takes, castle, long side. Again, knight d5 is available because here knight d5 is not working. After e takes d5, unfortunately for white is the check for the king and attack to the queen at the same time. So castle, long side, c6, just to protect the pawn on d5 and rook e1. We are replacing the rook to the semi-open line where the rook can make the pressure on e6 and basically staying on the same line with the king of black. That gets very, very dangerous for black. King goes d8, black decided to go away with the king from this tension, but unfortunately they are losing the castle and the king starts to struggle in the center. Rooks goes h6. Basically, white are doing a really good way. They're moving all their pieces inside the attack uh, to support the attack and uh, to make the positions of these pieces better. Basically, the bishop on f1, we can say, is already developed. He's not disturbing the rooks or other pieces. And we will put him in the game in the right moment because for now, it's hard to find a real nice job to him. e5, queen h4, knight d7, protecting the pawn on f6, bishop d3. Right now it's the moment because the bishop can join the f5 square and make more pressure for black's position. Black decided to lock the position, e4, queen g3, a thin move, because right now, if black will skip the move, for example, a6, knight d5 starts to be available. Takes, takes, and white's queen will go to c7, and that will be a winning situation, winning attack. So black need to go queen f7, first of all, to protect the pawn on d5, and secondly, again, going out from the tension with this rook. And here, Bishop takes e4, the final breakthrough. So basically, black's trying to save the locked character of the position. And white's idea to get the king is definitely to unlock the position completely. With the bishop takes e4, we are destroying the center of black, d takes e4, knight e4. The line for the rook is open right now. The knight wants to join d6 to make more pressure for the position of black, and the king starts to suffer. Rook g8, queen a3. Replacing the queen, because the queen controls these two squares, it will be very important, you will see from the game. Maybe at some moment we can go queen a5 with the check to the king in some variations. So we are going really nice. Queen g7, right now the rook is hanging, knight d6, no time to go back. Right now queen takes h6 is not possible, I can go knight f7 with a double attack. So basically we defended the rook with help of this active move. Brilliant. Knight goes b6, knight a8. 
it's very rare when the knight can come to the natural square of the opponent's king. For the moment, again, it's impossible to take the rook because I will go queen e7. The same checkmate idea. So black decided to go queen f7, but right after queen d6, they resigned. Unfortunately, the attack is not stoppable because on bishop d7 or knight d7, I can go queen c7 checkmate here. If black will try to block it with the queen, the variation is easy. It takes queen e7 only one and queen takes e7 checkmate. So a very short and nice game from Alexander Alekhine. He showed up the principles of the attack. He sacrificed the pawn, he took the responsibility, and he started to play active and bringing all his pieces to the game to support the attack. Take these techniques to your own games and collect more points. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will learn chess together.